Artificial intelligence will replace you, dumb person. Unfortunately, I have to bring you this bad news. And in this video, I will explain you that. And also, uh, I would like to make sure that you understand that it also could make you a billionaire. Really, it could make you like have a very interesting life. Um, by the way, it's built, and I'll explain it. But first of all, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Felipe Veloso. Um, I'm from Brazil originally, but I live in the US, and I work as a quantitative person, uh, basically applying mathematics and machine learning in a big bank. Um, just to make sure everyone understands, uh, in this video, I don't give uh, the place where I work's opinion, that's just my personal opinion. And I don't expect anyone to see this video, I'm, I'll never make any publicity. Mm, so if you end up and you like it, try to find me on Instagram, you know, and say, hey, dude, uh, let's talk about that thing in that stupid video. But okay. First of all, what is machine learning? Machine learning are algorithms that it can either uh, replace, like simulate the way our brain work to, to gather information. Uh, with it could be either uh, with some some objective definer, it's called the supervisor, and also it could be unsupervised, like it just find things from nowhere, like just finding patterns by itself. So why it will replace you, dumb person? Because basically it can repeat everything that uh, it's done. If you work uh, if you work in sales. In the future, right now it's kind of it sucks. It's it's still not very smooth. But in the future, the machine will simulate in a very nice way to even uh, use some neural programming, uh, uh, neural language language programming to understand your tone and adjust to your tone and kind of basically manipulating you. So in the future, uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence will do like sales as the best salesperson in the world. Because the best salesperson in the world with a team of programmer will be like the one training this, those algorithms. Uh, and if you work reading and giving your opinion, also uh, machine learning will replace your job. It can read, it can analyze the, the sentiment, it can, it can see the context, it can even analyze the external information, see if you're lying or not. Okay, if you're teaching, if you're a teacher, if you're not the best teacher in the world, also artificial intelligence will replace you because the best the, a, a, a teacher better than you will type all the information, uh, will be kind of like the model for the machine learning algorithm and it will be better than you because you're average, you're dumb. So it will also replace you. So basically everything that uh, doesn't require a lot of creativity in out of box mindset could be replaced by machine learning. It will, and when it will, I don't know. But if you do anything like regular and you think you're already stable, I would think twice. Well, like the basic um, objective for me to do this, this video was to, first of all, uh, I want to improve my communication, my English kind of, uh, my English sucks. And another thing is that I'd like to, ex uh, to explain some of my ideas to myself. Uh, so in the future I say, oh, what a dumb as I was, or wow, uh, that makes sense, I still think like that. But okay, uh, I, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to think, because look, machine learning, it takes something that is given. For example, I want to understand if I'm gonna pass the exam or not. Or for example, out of these 100,000 people, uh, what's the probability that um, that this person will have this this behavior, or it is the person will do this exactly exactly thing. So basically, it takes real data, what is happening, and it will take the outcome and see, oh, this is happening, and this is the outcome. Mm, this is happening, this is the outcome. Analyze it, and then try to test when we don't know the outcome. And it's called a supervised model. 
And why are creative and smart people gonna be rich? Because machine learning does something called overfitting. It understands very well the past, but it doesn't have no clue about the future. And the more dumb that we are to understand and to believe 100% in the predictions, in the way machine learning uh, makes the thing, make things, uh, the more exposed to risks we're gonna be. Because if you have one data, things happen, and everyone, uh, for example, investing in that way or doing, uh, or for example, safety for car safety uh, things, if everyone uses the same thing, if one thing different that makes that algorithm uh, not work properly, many people will will lose from that thing. And it could be big because just think like one million per, one million people having a card defect in the same day, like or uh, one million people losing all their money in the stock market in the same day. And it tends to be a little bit crazy. So given that I will explain why smart and creative people and the best in each field will be billionaires. Because the sense of replicability will make always the best in each field to be the model. Like to be the person in which to be incorporated by the technology to replace all of those average people. So what I'm going to advise you be the best in what you do or learn how to program. So you're going to be the person creating the, the machine learning codes to, to model the best ones in, in the field. And um, I don't know if I go a little bit deeper, it was a little bit superficial, but I just wanted to give you this idea, um, if you have enough patience to listen to seven minutes. But if you had, keep listening to the videos I post here, then I'm going to post uh, technical stuff so you can understand and also give you some books for reading. And yeah, this is my first video, I know it's pretty sh it's not the best. Mm, but thank you for wasting your time and see you next time. Subscribe and uh, send to your friends. Oh, yeah.